What's up guys? I just wanted to do a video um, for you guys on where I've been the past couple weeks. I haven't posted a video in a little bit, um, but I've had a lot of cool things happen. Um, there's three things that I'll actually talk to you about in this video. Um, one of which is I got this really cool video of um, me helping some ducks not cross the street, or actually they're, they're geese rather, and uh, we'll post that picture right boop, there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys. Come on guys, get back on. Come on. Go. There you go. Stay there. <laughs> Look at that, so fucking cool. I don't want these guys going in the street. So as you can see, those ducks are the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And I found them trying to cross the street on a pretty busy road um, by my work. So I kind of shooed them off and, you know, made sure that they were safe. And then I kind of pointed at them like, you know, say the fuck there. Don't get killed. You got a fucking family. So handle. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, my accident. And uh, I, had, I, I did a video where I kind of go over what had happened and there's actual footage of the video and I'll post that shit all right Boop. there So as you can see, uh, yeah, I I dropped the uh, I dropped too low, and I hit the the peg on the ground, and I think with this rear set, it's kind of low. I think it should be more like up, but these are aftermarket um, rear sets, but they should be up a lot more than they are. Maybe like up here. But anyway, yeah, the peg hit the ground, kicked my rear end out from under me. Luckily, oh no, got some of my fucking plastics. <laughs> this is like, I think the first time I'm actually looking at the damage that was done. Um, luckily it didn't get my gauge here. But yeah, it uh, scraped up the, the pucks on the good old frame sliders here. Um, didn't really do any other damage other than it, it broke my rear set free. Um, I need to get, I'm probably going to get new rear sets. I don't really like these. I want to bring it up higher so that I can make those lower turns. Um, I don't know if you can see it right here. When it hit the curb, it ground up on my cage. So my cage is kind of fucked right here. Um, what else did it do? I think that's it other than... It ripped my brake cable out, or my for my brake light, the uh, wires for it. But other than that, no real damage. So as you can see, it was a very low speed crash. Um, what had happened was I just leaned over really too far and the foot peg caught the ground and it spun the rear end of my bike out and because I have the crash cages with the the plastic um, the little pucks on the end it caused my bike to slide substantially farther than it should have which I'm actually thankful for because it actually got it out of the intersection and 
closer to a safer place for me to be. So I'm pretty thankful for that. And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, Brian636, one of the guys that I follow, um, who's also a motive vlogger. He posted a video of a dude got, who got in an accident, and it's something that I feel that I really want to talk to you guys about. So I'll post the video here, but I will also narrate through it. So um, it, it's more of just my opinions on things, and from there, I'll finish the video while talking um, through that video. So I'll post the video now, and uh, we'll narrate, and I'll give you my opinions and my thoughts on this. So see you guys in one second. All right, so in this video, um, this guy is kind of just, in my opinion, he's speeding too fast for the for the conditions that allow. So it's kind of at dusk. It's very dimly lit, um, and he's just speeding like faster than he should be going. And in my opinion, when it's like this, 80% of the time, I won't even get on my bike if it's even drizzling because Southern California is a fucking shit show when it comes to shit like that. But as you can see right here, he kind of just speeds too quick comes up to this little intersection where this guy stopped he sees the white car and he doesn't make the adjustments to slow down and in my opinion that's it's not his fault it's not the driver's fault but he should have actually corrected you know that to make sure that he had enough time to to um to avoid it and apparently he kept going he didn't even look um to check and make sure the rider was okay if he had seen him and he left like i totally understand that is a complete dick move However, if he didn't see him, and I, I believe there's a chance he might not have because he was blocked by that black car. I feel that, you know, it's, it, it goes without saying that that guy probably should have been driving a little safer, right? And I posted in Brian's channel in this video, I'm an advocate for safe riding. I always have been. I've said it a couple times in, you know, some of my other videos that... I really just want people to recognize that we're not invincible and that we really need to be making the adjustments in our the way we ride every day because we're not invincible like it, we're flesh and bone if we go down shit's gonna hurt we can bleed um we can endure all kinds of traumas if we go down and i've had friends who have passed away on motorcycles because they kind of just thought that they can never die on a bike and it's you know that's not absolutely not true so Again, I just wanted to put it out there in the fucking motorcycle universe that I really hope you guys just keep your eyes open, keep your head clear, and just ride safely. Ride according to the conditions. If there's a lot of traffic, you probably shouldn't be speeding. If it's raining, you should be driving a little slower. And, you know, just kind of look out for those little things that you would have to make adjustments for. Uh, I would like to hear your guys' opinions on this, so post that shit in the comment section below. And if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll be back next week with another episode. Psycho's out, guys. Peace.